Hi Church, we're now more than halfway through our Thanksgiving month and I'm pleased to report that we've now raised more than $13,000 toward our projects as well as money that's been raised toward the other projects uh, through this month. So I can tell you now that we've got $2,700 raised toward Heidi's ministry work next year, $3,950 raised for Sam Wallace and his Year 13 training, $4,940 for Angler Canade, as well as that $2,000 which we haven't allocated yet. So thank you for your support. Also want to let you know about a prayer meeting coming up on Monday night at 7.30. As part of our Thanksgiving month, halfway through, we thought, let's have another prayer meeting and actually just stop and give thanks to God together and praise him for all that he's done. I also want to share a story with you. During the week, I was meeting with a man. We've been running through Christianity Explored online, doing that course online. And as part of that, he was reading through the Gospel of Mark. And he got to Mark chapter 9 and 10 this week. And he read through those two chapters and said to me, look, I had to stop. And so I was worried. I said, why? What happened? And he said, I realised I'm the blind man. He said, all my life I've, I've known about Jesus but haven't done anything about him. And now I realise my eyes are being opened. I'm starting to see who Jesus is. Friends, I'm so encouraged by moments like that. And I want you to be encouraged by moments like that too. And so to that end, there's two things I want to let you know. First of all, we have an evangelism prayer meeting every two weeks on Friday nights, and it's on this coming Friday at 7 p.m. And the whole purpose of that meeting is to pray for our unsafe friends and contacts. Please come along. And if you can't be there, share by prayer point, share by email your prayer point so that we can pray for you and pray for your outreach. But that whole meeting exists to help us reach out to the people around us. But in addition to that, John Lavender, who gave our sermon today, uh, he's speaking for three Monday nights from August 30 to September 13 on evangelism. He's going to be running some training for us so that we will be better able to share the reason for the hope that we have. And details will be available for that shortly. Uh, two other things, lastly, I'm thankful for. One is workers are back on site. Our production's happening. There's all sorts of work being done here on site. So that's exciting. So keep praying for their safety and, and just give thanks to God that that's happening. And then lastly, I really want to say a big thank you to Gary Dibley, who's been running this Sunday morning Zoom meeting. Uh, that's been so popular and people have really loved that. Well, as you will have heard by now, our lockdown's not ending anytime soon. And so what we've decided to do is, is take some of that load off Gary and help him out with that. And so a new link will be coming around soon for that, for that uh, Sunday meeting. And the whole idea of that is we're not planning to change anything with it. We just really want to take some of that load back from Gary. And so uh, the link will be exactly the same as the current link for the chat and pray meetings. So there'll just be one Sunday link for everything. Uh, on Sunday, one link will get you into that meeting as well as the chat and pray sessions. Uh, but we'll send that around again this week. So, again, thank you, Gary Dibley. And if, you, if you've if you been part of that, maybe you might like to thank Gary as well for his work. God bless you, church. Keep going in Christ. Keep growing in him because in him we have real hope. And keep loving one another.